Baylor at Texas Tech. And let's talk about it. 7.30 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN2. Texas Tech is a two-and-a-half point favorite total of 62-and-a-half. Man, latest numbers, of course, over at BetUS. Uh, Joey McGuire versus Dave Aranda. Like, Joey was on Dave's staff last year. This is a fun-looking matchup. Um, I don't know what's going on with Blake Shapin, though, so that is something to pay attention to. Let's go ahead and pull up the stats here on your screen. And... Interesting, interesting number here because Baylor is favored by two and a half. But without Blake Shapin, how much does that change, right? There's there's questions here. Baylor is one and five against the spread of their last six against Texas Tech. Let's talk, let's talk about all the other trends as well. Baylor's 16 and five against the spread against the team with a winning home record. They are 20 and seven against the spread against winning teams. And they are 14 and six against the spread in their last 20 overall. So, certainly something uh, worth paying attention to. Baylor has just been a pretty good team over the past, uh, I, I mean, two years, really. Uh, Dave Aranda kind of shifted that culture. They've been a pretty good team. Um, Texas Tech, 0-6-1 against the spread after a straight-up win, but they are 4-1 and against the number at home. So, something to look at here. When I look at these numbers... Let's go on and pull them up. Why not? I mean, we got them right here. Uh, Baylor's defense. This is a problem. They are not good against the pass. Um, number 109 in passing success rate. This is over the last five weeks, by the way. So all this data is the last five weeks. They're number 109 in passing success rate. Well, Texas Tech is number 28 in that metric on offense. Um, you look at standard downs success rate, and Texas Tech is not great there, number 88 in that spot, but Baylor's defense number 51, so they should be able to uh, at least get Texas Tech behind the chains. If you're going to do that, here's what you run into. You're passing down success rate. Texas Tech is number 28, and Baylor is number 129. So, Texas Tech can be very successful regardless of what the play is on the field. It's almost like you have no idea what that offensive coordinator, Zach Kitley, is going to do, and it doesn't matter who the quarterback is. It's really crazy when you look at this team. Uh, scoring uh, opportunities per game, Texas Tech is number seven. I mean, they go forward on fourth down all the time. They are number one in the country in fourth down attempts per game, 5.3. Um but they get inside the opponent 40-yard line 7.75 times per game. That's number seven in the country. Baylor does a good job of limiting that. They're number 17 with only 5.25 per. But you look at the points per scoring opportunity, one of these teams finishes drives, and the other's defense, does. they let whoever finish drives. So I look for Texas Tech to be able to score quite a bit here. Points per scoring opportunity, Texas Tech is number 34, and Baylor is number 129. That is some problems. So I think Texas Tech is going to be able to score in this ballgame. Now, when you look on the other side, when Baylor has the ball, they're number 14 in PPA per pass. Turns out Texas Tech, fairly decent against that. Number 41 in PPA per pass defense. They're number 59 in passing success rate defense. Uh, Baylor can throw the football. But if Shapin is not in there, how successful are they? Uh, and, and we don't have the numbers on us right now because it's such a small sample size, right? You look at rushing success rate, number 32 for Baylor, number 79 for Texas Tech's defense. Um, there's ways that they can stay ahead of Texas Tech on this. They can stay ahead of the change. They're number 25 in standard down success rate. But Texas Tech's number 36 in standard down success rate on defense. So... What happens whenever you get Baylor in like third and long, et cetera, if they don't have Shapin, I don't have an answer for that. It's going to be really interesting to see what they end up doing. Uh, points per scoring opportunity, yeah, Baylor's not good at finishing drives. They're number 73, 3.79 per trip inside the opponent, 40. And Texas Tech's defense is not great at stopping it either, number 84, but that's certainly better than what Baylor's defense was doing. I, I look at this and... Yeah, I, I think that I'm going to ride Texas Tech here. They have a home field advantage, and they are just tricky enough on offense that I don't know that opposing defenses uh, know exactly what to do with them. So give me 
give me the Red Raiders to cover two and a half here. I like them. I like what they're doing. It's it's weird. It's different. Uh, but I like them in this spot quite a bit. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.